we've had a great run. Over the last 500,000 years, Homo sapiens has built cities, developed complicated languages, and dispatched robotic scouts to distant planets. It's tough to imagine the end of it all. Despite this, 99% of all species have gone extinct, including all of our hominid predecessors. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 ways the world ends. Before we get started with the video, don't forget to smash the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started. Number 10. Ecosystem Collapse Images of killed elephants and burning rainforests grab people's attention, but the real issue, global biodiversity loss, is far less obvious and far more dangerous. Billions of years of evolution have resulted in a world in which the well-being of every organism is entwined with that of countless other species. An example is a recent study of Isle Royale National Park in Lake Superior. Snowy winters enable wolves to hunt in larger packs, resulting in more moose being killed. The moose population drop permits more balsam fir saplings to survive. The fir trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, influencing the temperature. Everything is linked. To meet the needs of an expanding population, we are removing land for houses and agriculture, replacing numerous wild species with a few crop kinds, transferring plants and animals, and introducing new chemicals into the environment. Human activity causes the extinction of at least 30,000 species each year, implying that we are in the midst of one of the largest mass extinctions in Earth's history. Number 9. Global Warming The Earth is warming and scientists generally believe that people are to blame. It's easy to see how global warming could cause cities to flood and crops to fail. Recently, Harvard Medical School professor Paul Epstein has raised the alarm that a warmer world could also aid in the spread of infectious disease by providing a more favorable temperature for parasites and increasing the range of tropical viruses. Crop diseases, in combination with significant climate shifts, could result in famine. The consequences could be considerably more serious. At the moment, atmospheric gases trap enough heat near the surface to keep things warm. Increase the global temperature slightly though and there may be a negative feedback effect, with water evaporating quicker, releasing more water vapor, trapping more heat, driving carbon dioxide from the rocks, driving temperatures even higher. Number 8. Global Epidemics If Earth doesn't destroy us, our fellow species might be up to the challenge. Germs and humans have long coexisted. Yet the balance occasionally shifts. The Black Plague killed one out of every four Europeans in the 14th century. Influenza killed at least 20 million people between 1918 and 1919, and the AIDS epidemic has resulted in a similar death toll and is still ongoing. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, infectious illness mortality in the United States increased by 58% between 1980 and 1992. Antibiotic resistance has emerged in old diseases such as cholera and measles. Human infections are becoming more accessible as a result of intensive agriculture and land expansion. Diseases can spread quicker than ever before due to international travel. Infectious disease expert Michael Osterholm, who just departed the Minnesota Department of Health, described the situation as like trying to swim against the current of a raging river. Number 7. Flood Basalt Volcanism the Laki volcano in Iceland erupted in 1783, spewing three cubic miles of lava. Floods, ash, and fumes killed 9,000 people and annihilated 80% of the cattle. A fourth of Iceland's population died as a result of the ensuing hunger. Winter temperatures in the newly formed United States dropped by 9 degrees due to atmospheric dust. And that was nothing compared to what the Earth is capable of. A plume of hot rock from the mantle burst through the crust in what is now India 65 million years ago. Eruptions raged for centuries, eventually erupting a quarter million cubic kilometers of lava, the Lackey eruption 100,000 times over. Some experts believe that the dinosaurs were killed by an Indian outburst rather than an asteroid. A previous bigger event happened in Siberia during the period of the Permian-Triassic extinction, the most complete eradication known to paleontology. At the time, 95% of all species were extinct. Number 6. Reversal of Earth's Magnetic Field Every few hundred thousand years, Earth's magnetic field almost disappears for a century or so, then gradually emerges with the North and South Poles reversed. The last time this happened was 780,000 years ago, so we may be overdue. Worse, the strength of our magnetic field has dropped by around 5% during the last century. Why be concerned in an age when GPS has rendered compasses obsolete? The magnetic field, on the other hand, deflects solar particle storms and cosmic rays, as well as even more intense subatomic particles from deep space. Without magnetic shielding, these particles would collide with the Earth's atmosphere, destroying the already fragile ozone layer. Furthermore, many species use magnetic reckoning to travel. 
A magnetic reversal could have major environmental consequences. Number 5. Giant Solar Flares Solar flares or coronal mass ejections are massive magnetic outbursts from the sun that blast Earth with a flood of high-speed subatomic particles. Ordinary flares' potentially fatal effects are mitigated by the Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field. However, by poring over old astronomy records, Yale University's Bradley Schaefer discovered evidence that certain completely normal-looking sun-like stars can brighten briefly by up to a factor of 20. These stellar flickers, according to Schaefer, are created by superflares, which are millions of times more powerful than their common cousins. A solar superflare may scorch Earth and deplete the ozone layer in a matter of hours. Number 4. Row Black Holes our galaxy is teeming with black holes, collapsed star corpses about a dozen kilometers across. How full is it? That is a difficult question. After all, black holes are so called for a reason. Their gravity is so intense that they consume everything, including light, that could reveal their presence. We'd know if a typical star was traveling toward us. A dark hole provides little warning. At most, astronomers might notice a peculiar disruption in the orbits of the outer planets a few decades before a close approach. As the effect grew stronger, it would be feasible to establish increasingly precise estimates of the interloper's location and mass. The black hole wouldn't even have to approach Earth to cause havoc. Simply passing through the solar system would disrupt all of the planet's orbits. Number 3. Collapse of the Vacuum Kurt Vonnegut popularized the concept of Ice-9 in his book Cat's Cradle, a type of water that is significantly more stable than conventional water and thus solid at ambient temperature. When a small amount of it is released, all water on Earth instantly turns to Ice-9 and freezes solid. Although Ice-9 was a satirical creation, an abrupt and disastrous phase change is a possibility. According to a leading cosmological hypothesis, empty space was filled with energy very early in the universe's history. This situation, known as a false vacuum, was extremely dangerous. A new, more stable type of vacuum arose and quickly took control, much like Ice-9. This transition released a vast quantity of energy, resulting in a temporary, uncontrolled expansion of the universe. However, it is feasible that another, more stable type of vacuum exists. Number 2. Gamma-ray Burst You would think you were being followed by cosmic paparazzi if you could see the sky with gamma-ray vision. Every day or so, a bright flash would appear, briefly outshine everything else, and then fade. Astrophysicists recently discovered that these gamma-ray bursts originate in faraway galaxies and are unfathomably powerful up to 10 quadrillion, a one followed by 16 zeros, times as energetic as the sun. The explosions are most likely caused by the merger of two collapsed stars. Such a double star may be virtually completely undetected before the cataclysmic occurrence, so we have no idea whether one is lurking nearby. However, once the burst begins, there is no stopping its ferocity. It would appear about as brilliant as the sun at a distance of 1,000 light years, further than most stars seem on a clear night. Number 1. Asteroid impact. It's difficult to take a disaster scenario seriously once it's been given the corny Hollywood treatment. But there is no doubt that a cosmic invader will strike Earth and it will not take millions of years. A 200-foot-wide comet fragment smashed into the atmosphere and detonated over the Tunguska region of Siberia, Russia in 1908, with roughly 1,000 times the intensity of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. According to astronomers, similar-sized catastrophes occur every one to three centuries. A five-mile-wide asteroid would induce mass extinctions, similar to the one that may have marked the end of the dinosaur era. That's a wrap on the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.